while we have gotten better, we still have often a very one size fits all approach to this work, right? We, um, and we, you know, we think we don't, right? Because we have a menu of options at our organizations and where people come in. But those, but just literally what is offered is often still a one size all, uh, fits all approach. And particularly for people of color, it is not something that they are going to be successful at. I challenge every organization that is listening and out there, including my own, including my own, um, to look at the success rate of people of color. And you can define success in the way, in whatever way that you want to, but the success rate of people of color in your programs. Um, I have worked in organizations that where black people were much more often thrown out of shelters where um, black and brown folks were less likely to, um, to follow through, so to speak, on case management services. Um, you know, what we need to think about these things, and they can be scary, and they're hard, they're, they're complicated, but I believe it, it is important for us to name them and begin then to start thinking and working in our communities about how to address them. It's not about our organizations um, it's not up to us to have the answers. Our communities and working with people will have the answers. The same way that the, the domestic violence and sexual violence movement became super successful around doing a lot of the intervention and prevention work was because we listened, right, to community, right? We listened to people and began to work diligently based on their own experiences. It's, it's similar work. It's similar work.